Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Bowman with Olympia Piano and in this short video I will be going over the major pentascale in the key of D. So Do is D. If you need more information about how pentascales are created, please watch the long version of the C major pentascale. I've put the link above or you can find the link in the description. So the pentascale formula is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. These are the first five notes of the major scale. And I like to lock this formula in by really feeling these steps between the fingers. So for D major, D is Do. We have a whole step between Do and Re. So D to E using fingers one and two. Ho, O. Next, we have another whole step between Re and Mi, which is E and F sharp. So we've got to make a whole step here by skipping this key and coming up here. Whole step, E to F sharp using fingers two to three, ho, o. Then Mi to Fa, F sharp to G is our only half step in this pentascale. Get used to how it feels, especially with that black key there using fingers three and four. Ha, F. And then finally, another whole step between Fa and So, G and A in this case, use fingers four to five, ho, o. Ho, O, Ho, O, Ha, F, Ho, O. Let's play it up and down legato. And let's do it also staccato. This is going to come more from the wrist, like bouncing a ball. Quick touches. And now we'll do it with the left hand. The only difference is that Do will start with finger five instead of finger one. And we've got the half step between fingers three and two instead of three and four. Ho, O, Ho, O, Ha, F, Ho, O, up and down. Let's do it hands together. Ho, o, ho, o. Feel those steps slowly up and down. Two, three, four. And staccato. Thank you very much for watching this short video on pentascales in the key of D major. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope you'll subscribe. I'm going to have all 24 major and minor pentascales up with short videos just like this. I also have videos on piano technique, piano literature, and quick piano tips from the repertoire. I love to hear from you. Please write to me in the comments. Let me know of your progress or ask me questions. And as always, thank you for watching.